Welcome to Cartesi. Cartesi is a project that started in early 2018 with the objective of providing the convenience and scalability of the mainstream software world to DAP developers and users. In 2020, Cartesi released Descartes, a blockchain agnostic layer 2 system that provides powerful features to smart contracts and DAPs. Here they are. Scalable Computation DAPs built with Descartes achieve large computational scalability over massive amounts of data without compromising on decentralization or security. Privacy DAP data is not disclosed on chain. Data can remain private to the parties involved in the application. And finally, the most important feature that sets Cartesi apart from the other Layer 2 scaling solutions, DAP logic can be built directly on top of Linux using OS resources such as the file system and myriad open source software libraries and tools from the mainstream software world. This is a great step forward in productivity for developers. This is how Descartes works. Your DAP smart contract defines a computation. The computation is specified as a Linux virtual machine that boots and runs your off-chain program till completion. Your program can be complex and involve the processing of massive amounts of data. You select a set of Descartes nodes to run the computation off-chain and achieve a local consensus on the result of the computation. Descartes nodes are either run by the DAP users themselves or by organizations they trust to represent them. Descartes ensures that, as long as your DAP includes at least one honest Descartes node, the correct result of the computation is delivered to the smart contract. And that's it! Your smart contract was able to run a complex Linux-based computation in a decentralized way, without loss of security. At runtime, when your DAP requests a computation, all Descartes nodes involved in the DAP run the specified computation off-chain. A claimer node presents the result on-chain. The other nodes validate the claim. If the claimer maliciously submits an incorrect result, any honest node can initiate a dispute and infallibly enforce the correct result on the blockchain. This is all done automatically by Descartes and abstracted away from the developer. Descartes provides DAP with massive computational scaling and the generality of Linux while keeping the strong security guarantees of the underlying blockchain. This is the result of two principles a deterministic and self-contained implementation of a RISC-V instruction set architecture, an optimistic protocol for local consensus where DAP participants are incentivized to engage with the system honestly. The RISC-V VM architecture. At the core of a Descartes node, you will find Cartesi's VM called the Cartesi machine. It emulates the RISC-V ISA and runs an actual Linux distribution. The Cartesi machine is fully deterministic, reproducible, and self-contained. These properties ensure that different nodes running the same specified computation are guaranteed to obtain precisely the same machine state at the end of processing. That allows them to validate any result claimed on-chain, achieving local consensus. DAPs fully specify their Cartesi machines for the computations they need to perform. Memories and devices are mapped to a 64-bit physical address space of the machine. The amount of RAM, as well as the number, length, and position of flash drives in the address space can be chosen according to the needs of each particular application. Finally, the Cartesi machine is transparent and can provide cryptographic hashes of its entire state on demand. It can, in fact, produce cryptographic proofs about the exact change in the global state hash that is produced by executing a given instruction. This is an essential piece for disputes settled on the blockchain. In fact, Descartes includes a mere smart contract implementation of the RISC-V ISA that can verify on-chain these proofs and reject false state transitions. When building a Cartesi app, the developer starts by specifying the computation as a reproducible and verifiable Cartesi machine template. The template is stored in a way that can be later executed by an involved Descartes node upon request. The template includes ROM and RAM images. The RAM contains the Linux kernel itself, a root FS flash drive containing all the data files and programs that make up an embedded Linux distribution, additional empty flash drives that will hold the computation input and output. 
In this example, you see a command from the CLI interface that builds a Cartesi machine. You can see how it specifies the ROM image file, the RAM image file containing the Linux kernel, the specification that it has 64 megabytes of RAM, and a flash drive image for the root FS. Then, once initialization is complete, the machine executes the command ls-bin and exits. The Cartesi machine has three different perspectives. From the inside, Linux sees a RISC-V processor and a few devices, and programs run as though they were in a real computer. From the outside, a Cartesi machine can be controlled with the command line for rapid prototyping, but it can also be controlled with the Lua programming language, with C++, or even remotely via gRPC. So Cartesi machines can be assembled and run programmatically in many different ways. Let's now explain the second basic principles of Descartes the protocol for local consensus. Suppose you want to implement a two-player decentralized game. Players place their bets in crypto. The winner takes the pot. First, if we implement the logic of the blockchain, every single player's move becomes a transaction. If we're on Ethereum, all game events and transitions are emulated on more than 10,000 full nodes around the world. That's a massive waste of resources considering that only the two players are interested in the result of the game. In this example, the reasonable solution is to let Alice and Bob play off-chain while making sure they preserve the ability to enforce correct results on-chain. First, they play the game until completion, hopefully agreeing on the results. In the best-case scenario, they just agree with each other. Then, they go to the blockchain at the end to communicate the result and finalize the game with a single transaction. In the worst-case scenario, say, if Bob goes evil and starts to cheat, Alice gathers her off-chain formal proofs and uses the blockchain as a Supreme Court to defend herself. In case of dispute, the strong securities of the entire blockchain will protect Alice. An important ingredient to make this arbitration design work well is to have proper economic incentives to mitigate attempts of misbehavior. This is how it works. If disputes happen, both sides need to deposit a collateral to advance with it. Two scenarios can occur. 1. Bob doesn't fight with Alice during the challenging period. After all, she can prove to the blockchain she is right, and he cannot, in which case Alice recovers her collateral and wins the game. 2. Bob also places the collateral to fight Alice. Alice still wins the dispute as Bob cannot prove his assertion to the blockchain. Alice recovers the collateral, Bob loses his collateral to Alice, and Alice wins the game. The idea is that the collateral must be high enough to totally discourage any attempt of dishonest behavior. This is enough to make the parties engage honestly, guaranteeing a highly efficient use of the system. Now you know that on Descartes, all DAP heavy processing is done off-chain. The blockchain is used as a supreme court in case of disputes over the result of the computation, when the parties disagree. Disputes should only happen in rare circumstances, as the involved parties have strong economic incentives to behave honestly. Even in the rare cases when disputes arise, a negligible part of the computation is to be run by the blockchain. To understand Descartes in more detail and build your Linux powered DAP, visit our SDK documentation portal. Happy coding!